Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> I'm sorry, good evening family, you know I'm still messing with this audio, I hope y'all can hear me, Um, I hope you can hear me, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, just with the positive affirmation that you can, so with that being said, um, what was I going what was I going to talk about? This was very interesting, y'all. Y'all y'all listen. In light of Diddy and all his shenanigans. If you if you've noticed, I haven't jumped on the Diddy bandwagon and that's for reasons that um you know, it, um, it's enough enough people out there bashing. Okay, it's enough. So I choose not to do that. But what I choose to do is hold us all accountable for something that just hit me. For some reason, this interview was sent to me from um somebody that asked me to relive this, rethink this, and um. Now what do I think in light of what has happened to Puffy Cappy Pondexter and her claim that she was kidnapped by LeBron James and put into and then we all brushed it off as just crazy. Wow, like Jaguar right. Now I I, I don't want to get into uh, whether I think Jaguar got some se- serious mental he- health issues because most creative people and most people that um, have experienced a lot of trauma, a lot of people who are in therapy, and for sure people that have been sub prescribed lithium have mental issues but you ain't heard it from me and you deal with how you deal with that situation a wrong clock is right twice a day right okay so that's what I feel about Jaguar but I'm revisiting Cappy Pondexter because she said that LeBron James kidnapped her. What the? And then, remember, ain't no party like a Diddy party. That's what Bronny, that's what Bron said, LeBron. Now, y'all, y'all bear with me. Uh, here, okay, let me see if she mentions it. This is her. On a conversation with, uh, it's a LeBron fan, and she trolling dude, um, asking him, would he do the unthinkable to LeBron James, and that's what she feels like he wants to do, the unthinkable to LeBron James. Now, um, I don't know. This whole situation has just got me wondering. If there is a connection. Um, but just listen to this. In case. For those of y'all who don't know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. This is Cappy hey, Pond. What's, what's cracking? I'm good. I'm good. You alright? Is you alright? I'm good. I'm good. What's the beef? I ain't no beef, man. I'm just trying to see what's up with you. What up? You see what I'm saying? You sound gay, boy. No, I'm not gay. What the fuck? I love women. 
I mean, you can be. You talking about this LeBron talk? You talking about this LeBron talk though? Why are you trying to expose LeBron, man? You bite his dick, don't you? Tell me you're attracted nah. to this nigga. Nah. Yes, you is. I was a fan of LeBron when he was in Miami. Oh, so you gay for him? Nah. You nah. Fine. Hell nah. If he came to your house right now, you wouldn't suck his dick. Nah. Hell nah. You wouldn't have fun with your dick. Nah. Yes, you <laughs> would. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. What's my son? You got me. You got me fucked up. <laughs> you got me fucked up, yo. Real talk. You got me fucked up. Hell nah. Hell <laughs> nah. Hell no. Nah. What? What happened? Who? Oh, see, now y'all know that. I was finna kick it with him. He's funny than a motherfucker. He said, said, hell yeah, that nigga just sucked my dick. <laughs> That's a real nigga. <laughs> Thank you. Now, for those of y'all who don't know who Cappy Pondexter is, she's one of the coldest guards that played in the WNBA. Um... And I believe she retired, what, what, I would say within the last, hmm, I don't know, within the last maybe five years. Um, this is in 2021. The thing is. She she says a lot of things inadvertently that I thought was just totally wild. And now I'm saying, hey, maybe somebody should bring her in and just make sure that what she said is not just crazy talk. Maybe she knows something. Maybe she was um, uh, kidnapped because she, she was she's retired. She was a WNBA guard. I'm trying to think who. She played for a lot of teams. She's good. She's from Chicago. Right down the road. Cappy Porn Dexter. And I know a lot of y'all know Cappy. Cappy was just. Whew, she was she was just a good guard. But she she she's um just like I said again, got me thinking about a lot of things she said. And I want y'all to uh, just keep, just listen to her. Kick them off of Instagram for that shit. Now y'all understand what I'm talking about? That nigga said, oh, hell no. Oh, hell yeah. That's what he really said. Damn, I was finna kick it with him, man. They bogus as hell. I'm finna ask this nigga again. That shit funny to me. Motherfucker. But I'm finna fuck with this. I did some business shit, though. I'll call it Adam. I'm gonna do that. What's going on, Cap? What's up, baby? How you doing, man? We love you, bro. I just wanted to let you know, man, I got that pack whenever you're ready, man. Nah, man, I'm kind of upset about that shit because you sent me some bad uh, guava leaks, man. And you make them shits from home. You dip them in Hennessy and shit. That's my shit, but you sent me some bad shit and I bought it. Nah, I ain't seen you no bad nothing. I promise you did, man. The same thing I sent Bianca, I sent you. She hit me up and told me that they, that she, I talked I to her. I bought from you. I bought from you twice. You sent me something once. Yeah, yeah. The same one I sent Bianca. She, yeah, I sent the whole pack. You sent me some other shit that you was doing. To the same address. A bit a box. Bianca hit me up. I was talking to her FaceTime. Okay, I don't know. That's cool. I'm talking about me, me though. <laughs> yeah, I was on FaceTime with you. You okay. don't remember. She was showing you how to... This is her in her psychosis he was on going Facebook. live talking about whatever on, that... Man. That's what I found out who I'm you saying. was. Look, you're not understanding what I'm talking about right <laughs> um, huh? Cappy had some real challenging um, behaviors. And I thought this was the video. Obviously, it's not. She goes into LeBron James kidnapping her. Her... Um, a whole story had her in a warehouse in a garage somewhere and she had to break loose and it's just really a mind boggling story. And I'm thinking that this is what she's that LeBron. 
Talk, y'all. Hey, that shit was funny. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Maybe this is Stop, it. Stop, man. I ain't with that LeBron hey, shit, though. Let's talk. How many bitches you done had in the in last year, though, with this COVID shit? Be honest. Let's talk for real. To be honest with you, I haven't got no sex, though. To be honest with you. I'll be honest. In COVID? In COVID? No, I haven't. In COVID, probably one time. Ain't that shit one time. hard, man? It is. It is. But I'm not. It's like. I could fuck up if I want to. I got a couple of chicks up I could I could hit up, but it's oh like I'm not God. really like on it like that. Why not, man? I mean, I could I if I wanted to, to but it's like. Say, man, I'm just trying to get my wife, man. I've been trying to get with her. Man, yeah, yeah. You know Beyonce? Yeah, nigga. Man, when the last thing you chill with Beyonce? Man, they helped welcome him home party in Coachella. Shit. Now, matter of fact, hold on. You said that you went missing. I did, bro. How'd you go missing? First of all, they let the police come and get me and shit. And then I don't know where they took me. I was in some building and shit. Then next thing I know, shit, I'm, I woke up with my phone and my scripts. And I, t I told everybody about LeBron. That's real shit. So, were you hot? Or like, where were you? In what? California. You, you, you I moved back to California after, uh, after I broke up with Ty Young. Ty Young. I don't know who's, who's Ty Young. She was the one that was on Love and Hip Hop with Mimi Frost. Okay, so you've been a you so you've been a lesbian your whole life. No, I'm a hermaphrodite. You a what? A hermaphrodite. I have both sex. You a trip, right? <laughs> you you know what? You've been tripping ever since you got on live, yo. You a former ball player, yo. Like, what's up? Like, what's up with you? Oh no, I'm just writing scripts right now. What you doing? Are you sure you're not schizophrenic? Are you, you sure you're not schizophrenic? Oh no, baby. You sure? I'm positive. Cause you talk, you've been talking crazy. You've been I, talking crazy. I, I feel you. Thirteen baby. years. See, people saying that you were in, you were born in Chicago. Nick, I wasn't so born, born in, Chicago? in Chicago. I was just raised in Chicago. I went to high school in Chicago. All right. Okay, I mean, people think you capping on this live, yo, like, for cap. I mean, for a fucking clout. Oh, you don't look at the fucking comments? Bitch, I'm giving you, I ain't fucking with you no more, I'm not, no, no, I'm not looking at the comments. Right, I'm, I'm not even looking at the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm, that was it. So y'all, y'all heard just a part of it. Where she said the police came and got her out. She was in the building, in the warehouse, or... And that LeBron James was responsible. She was uh, kidnapped. So now, if y'all haven't heard that before, <laughs> I want to know now. Do y'all think it's some kind of truth to this story? Because like I said, a uh, broken clock is right twice a day. What would make Cappy Pondesser say all this craziness unless, again, she is schizophrenic? Because her conversation is very erratic, you know. There's a lot of people who can just identify this a, a behavior right away. Um, and as you listen to her, you would be inclined to think that she is in the stages of a, a mental breakdown. But given... In hindsight, I'm just saying, with everything that's going on, maybe they need to call Cappy Pond Dexter in and 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 revisit her whole kidnapping uh, situation. What y'all think? What say y'all, family? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share while I continue to work on this audio thing. And I will see you in the next video. Actually, it's the audio and video. Oh, bye-bye. See you in the next one.